Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby. This is Module 4, Lesson 3. It's about the relationship between multiplication and addition. So the easiest way to look at this is if you have addition, you're going to make it into multiplication. And if you have multiplication, you're going to make it into addition. So we're going to go through these fairly quickly. So if you see here, we have 10 plus 10 plus 10. We have to think about how many 10s we have. So we can do this fairly fast. And we have three 10s. So we have 3 times 10. And 3 times 10 is 30. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. That is what we are doing. So if we look at this next one, we have 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 4s. So that means we have 7 times 4. And if you reverse these, these are fine. 4 times 7. Same concept. So now we have 8 times 2. So we do that by addition. We could say, oh, this is an eight written two times. Or we could reverse this and say this is a two written eight times. Either way, eight plus eight is 16, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Either way, that works. Um, same thing with this. I think you get the idea. But we'll look at 5 and 6 right now. So 6m means 6 currently times m. So in order to get 6 times m, we have to go to addition. So that means an m written 6 times. And then same here. We have d plus d plus d plus d plus d. We have 5 d's. So we could just put 5 d's or um, 5 times a d. Either way, that works. Hope this makes sense. It's not a big lesson. It's a quick one. But as always, I love math and Diet Coke.